Dear viewers, gosh, I'm not strong enough for this. You could think that we've traveled back in time to the year 1930. That is the year this, this device was used to plain wood. But now we are actually in 2011 and at the Ligna in Hanover. And I'm going to prove to you, with the help of Benedict Schneider, that this planer is really a thing of the past. You and your team from the company Weinig have thought up something really special. Yes, not only this handheld planer is a thing of the past, but all the old conventional types are of the past because we now have the cube. We are going to have a look at the clever cube. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a, a cube. There are a couple of nice pictures on it, but without being too personal, but it doesn't really look too fantastic. Yes, well, there's quite a lot behind the cube. So how does it work? We're going to have a look. I think I'll show you the controls, and I'll teach you how to use this machine. And then you can plane the first workpiece. Me? Yes. I hope you're insured well, because I have no idea what to do. Don't worry. The steerage, uh, the control panel will help us, and uh, we don't need to worry about anything. Nothing can happen. Okay, I presume we have to do something here in the control panel. Yes, that's right. Here's the control unit. We can uh, type in the width and the thickness. Okay, well, we know touch screens from cell phones. Yes. Okay, so what I have to do is just press this button. What am I supposed to set? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just put in 28. All right. Well, that's 28 there now. So now if you give me a piece of wood, we can play in the first workpiece. So there's the wood. Now I'm really curious. Well, would you like to start? You just need to press the button in the middle. Okay. I press the button. Oh, there's a light. Green and red. What exactly is that? That's showing us the spindle position. The way the machine is standing at this moment in time, this laser here is for the left spindle. We won't be able to play very much there with that one. So do we have to change something? Yes, we have to change something. We have to adjust something. Maybe we should put a different measurement in. And now we can see how the ma machine is adapting. Yes, it was very uh, visible there, where the green light moved on to the piece of wood. So you can see the dimensions that will come out at the other side of the machine. So it's a kind of quality control. We can see beforehand what's going to come out at the other side. But yes, we do want to see what's going to come out at the other end. Okay, so now you press the start button. Wow, so the machine is starting to work. I'll take the microphone. And now you... Set the machine. <laughs> yes, go for it. It wasn't that difficult, was it? Well, I'm still <laughs> hoping that something good is going to come out at the end. Okay, so what can we do now? Oh, there's a piece of wood. It looks quite different. Oh, yes, even I can see that. So let's check the quality. Wow. Oh, it's just as soft as a baby's bottom. Yes, and it's absolutely rectangular. It's, it's parallel. We can prove that. I've prepared something here over here for you. As you can hear, it's absolutely parallel. It can't be better than that. It's perfect. It looks to be very high quality, and we saw ourselves. It was very, very quick. But I'm sure there's some drawback to it. It will probably be the price. Well, I'm going to surprise you again, if you would like. This idea was thought up for small companies, for tradesmen, and within one year, it will have reached its amortization period. We've uh, brought up a little calculation for you. Normally, a uh, tradesman works about 15 hours with these traditional machines of surfacers and thicknessers, and we can go by a factor 10 faster. So it's 13 and a half hours time saving per week. So that's a huge amount of time that can be saved. And if you think of the hourly wages that have to be paid nowadays, it really is a lot of money. This cube really is very, very clever and proves at the Ligna 2011, this thing, this planer is a thing of the past.